Hey guys, the objectives for this video are, con are going to be to ask what a flow net is and how do we draw one, to look at what an EP, an equipotential line is, and what a FL, a flow line is, and to establish boundary conditions for our flow net. So, the first thing we need to do is have a look at what a flow net is. A flow net models the flow of water through a soil sample. Okay, so let's say we have a tube like this, right, which is filled with soil. Let's say that our datum is at the bottom. So our datum is at the bottom. Let's say that this height was five meters, right? And let's call this point A. So the head at A would be five meters and the head at B would be zero, okay? Just because of the elevation, uh, there's, no, there's no pressure at all in this system. <clears throat> so what's gonna happen is that the water is gonna come if we pour water through the system and flow through the soil. So what we do is we model this using something called a flow, a flow net, okay? Which has two components. It has something called flow lines, which are these red lines. They just show the, the water, how it flows through. And then we also need to show something called an equipotential line. An equipotential, li equipot equipotential line is just a line which shows points of equal head, okay? So for this example, it's very simple. The, there's a constant head of five meters along that line. Say over here, we probably have a constant head of about four meters. Uh, this line, maybe three meters. At this line, maybe two meters. And at this line, maybe...